Hey guys, Sabrina here, and I am making this commentary after the fact because the audio of this video is stuffed up. So I'm going to be walking through how to use this template. This is template number nine. And as you, you could probably recognize this template because this is what I use on my profile. There's a lot of people asking how to make this. So I thought I'll just release it as a template to make it easier. So first off, as always, we're going to start by going to steam.design and we're going to find our background. I use the background called clouds. Make sure you're signed in when you do this and then disable, if you want to disable the long showcases and that will make it so it's just a square instead of a rectangle if you're into that sort of thing. Once it's downloaded, we want to go to where it's downloaded and we want to extract it to just a random folder. And then once we've got it extracted, we're going to drag it into our After Effects and then drag it down onto our timeline below everything in the render comp composition. So we've got to see how to edit it. So to edit it, we double click on this composition and then we get taken to this composition where it's got all of this, the static text. Now that we see that we've got this just static text here and we're going to change it. So we're going to click on the edit outline layer and then double click on it in the layer panel and change the name to whatever you like. So in this case, Sabuna, then make sure your character settings are everything you want before we move on. Then we're going to double click on the fill composition and then we can see we just do the same thing. If you change any character settings, make sure they are the same for both the fill and the outline just to be safe, else it will not line up properly. And we can see that that's worked. Now we're going to edit the subtext. So just click on that and then edit it how you like. So I'm going to change it to people eater and that's 2018 now. So change it to 2018 and then we can see that it's all working fine and dandy. Now I'm gonna go back to my render comp. Now it works all perfectly and we are done. Now to export this, we can either hit Control M or we can go to File, Export, and then Save for Web Legacy, and it'll both get you to this menu anyway. So we're gonna change the format to a PNG sequence, and then we're gonna change the output to wherever you like. Once we're happy with that, just click Render, and let it render while you're waiting for it to render open up Photoshop because that is the next step it's rendered and we've opened up Photoshop what we're going to do is go to file open navigate to where we saved it so in my case downloads open up the folder click the first file and click image sequence then press open it's 30 FPS composition so we just got to set it to 30 FPS and press OK then we're going to open to window timeline and we see we've got this video timeline down here so we're going to play it through and make sure it's everything we want once we're happy with it and all that we're going to go to file export and save for web legacy we're going to make sure that the file format is set to gif over everything else we're going to change the animation looping options to forever and we're going to make sure our file size is below eight megabytes if it's not we're going to have to mess around with the colors the web snap and the lossy to get it down below eight megabytes else it will just not upload to steam once you're happy with it all press save and save it to wherever you like once it's saved we're going to go to our steam profile we're going to go to artwork go to upload artwork not game specific choose your file and then navigate to where you saved it so mine was in Nathan and then template10.gif, press open, give it a name, give it a description and then certify that you created the artwork and then press save and continue. It'll take a while to upload depending on your internet speed so just be patient. Once it's uploaded you'll see this screen and then once we see this screen we're going to go back to our profile, click on edit profile and then scroll down to our artwork showcase. Click the edit button and then set it to the most recent artwork showcase. And then scroll down to the very bottom and click save changes. Return to the profile. And there we see we've got our brand new artwork showcase. I really hope you guys enjoy this template. If you're using it on your profile, please leave a link to your Steam profile down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to check it out. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you're going to download and use this template. Anyways, so I'll see you guys in the next video.